Hey folks, thank you for visiting my channels. Again, I just want to give you this channel dashboard. Uh, we have about 11,000 subscribers. Thank you for you guys' support. Please don't forget to share with your friends and family. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe either, okay? So let's get started today. I'm just going to show you what do you need a checklist for the day of the exam, okay? The first thing first, what do you need? First thing first, you need a permit, okay? You need a permit. So you got interim permits when you usually pass your written examination at the DMB office, right? Please do wait for your photo learner's permit to arrive in order to take the exam, okay? So DMB has a checklist. What do you need on the day of the exam? And it's, again, it's very straightforward. I think just take a look and then we'll go over each and every item. First thing first, please, please, please arrive 30 minutes before the time of the test. Why they recommend you to go before 30 minutes? Number one, make sure you they want to check you out. Make sure you are the correct person. Make sure your client ID is listed to their exam list. Make sure you are on the correct side. It's happened to me a couple of times, set up the road test in one side, but then I went to other side. So because of that reason, at least you have some time buffer to catch up or go to the next side okay so that's the reason they want you to go before 30 minutes next thing let's see if you're late or let's see if you're early um you know ask that in you know examiner say hey can i what should i do but you know if, if, if it's extremely extremely late they're probably gonna say okay let's reschedule your road test or you know we cannot take it because based on the lot of people on the line or whatsoever okay they will tell you hey if you're late don't try to argue with them or anything if they say they cannot take your uh, you know road test just reshoot rules and go there simple as that what do you need the first thing first you need a permit you need a photo learner's permit it's very specific you cannot go with the interim um permit so if you have this paper you cannot go and take an exam you need to wait for a photo learner permit i'm just be very careful you need a photo learner's permit okay other thing is this i see a lot of students they forget about their classes or contacts if your permit say r which is right is, um corrective lens right so make sure you walk with your glasses or contact lens let's say if your uh, permit has the r and let's say you don't walk with the um, glasses or contact lens they can refuse you to, to give you the exam okay so make sure you walk with the glasses or contact lens if is in you know permit indicated okay number three you need to take your pre-licensing course certification or a student certificate of completion so let me just go you quickly what is those all right most of this driving school they usually issued mp278 which is also known as five hour class or pre-licensing course is it all same terminology guys okay don't get confused before you take that exam make sure you have that certification number then you set up the exam okay without the certification number you cannot set up that exam okay so this is very important you need to have five hour classes and other things you are uh, um so if you are you know most of the you know we also call it the driver's ed program so they also call student certificate of completion which is mb285 so you need either or you don't need a both either you have this one or you either you have that one so mb285 usually um for you know most of the uh, people who are has junior learners permit and stuff like that but most of the commonly used which is called as pre-licensing course five hour class okay then of course if you're going with a driving school obviously your dri driving instructor will go with you and driving instructor will have instructor card and you know whatever the requirement that needed for by the dmb okay but again if you're taking your friends or family the driver must be age of 21 and older and also who has a valid driving license guys also the car that you're gonna drive make sure it has a valid registration and inspection the mostly common people ask me can i, I have a tlc plate can i take my tlc play you know someone else tlc played and do the exam yes you are absolutely right you are allowed to take any car as long as you have a valid registration inspection sometimes they feel a little bit yucky uh, you know yippy about the rental car but again as long as for the requirement as long as you have a valid registration inspection they will let you take the car however make sure the car should be in very good clean condition you don't have to have a fully detailed but make sure it's smell good make sure it's you know decent clean condition 
so they feel very comfortable when you drive together okay this is for the motor vehicles exam and also let's see if you're taking a motorcycle make sure also your motorcycles must has to have your registration and the inspection on a motorcycle but again also the other car that you're going to take it with you the motor vehicle should also have registered inspected as for the dmb okay so what that means for example let's say you're going to be driving the motorcycle by yourself and the examiner and the other driver will sit on the other car and the examiner will tell them hey go to the right go to the left you know what are the maneuvers that you need the driver must be also valid license and also the car must be registered and inspected properly and then the examiner will sit in then you will get the exam ready so if you're under 18 you the certificate of supervised driving has to be signed by the either parents or guardians or the driving school let me just show you a little bit quickly so i click on that this is the certificate of supervised driving school. so make sure every time every time you go for exam you have to show them the paper so put your name your address the permit then the who signed the who's the parents right signature date if your parents or guardian didn't sign let driving school fill up this information and then you should be good to go okay all right guys make sure you pass that exam and let me know how you did it thank you for watching my channel please don't forget to subscribe take care guys